Hello everyone, uh, this is Ori Bloop. Welcome back to another uh, Game Builder Garage uh, tutorial. Today, um, we're going to be working with uh, a user interface. So basically, uh, what that means is um, in a game where they have like a health bar or they have some sort of uh, information shown on the screen, it usually goes along with the player's camera. So we're going to go ahead and um, start working with that. So what you're going to want to do first is we're going to go to uh, the edit mode, of course. Um, and uh, of course, we need a player. So we're going to start going and uh, work on the player. So let's go to objects, characters, person. And uh, for our person, we're going to want to scale up a little bit uh, just because uh, this is a first person camera. So we're going to be uh, having our camera on uh, the person's head. So... We have the camera connected to the uh, person node on. And so now let's get our inputs out. So for our inputs, we're going to be doing uh, the stick movement similar to uh, last video. So uh, left stick up and down. And uh, left stick left and right for left and right for the person. And then uh, this time we're not going to have a jump just because we don't uh, necessarily need it for this tutorial. But uh, for the camera, it's going to be just like the third person camera, except um, it's going to be for first person. So uh, we got up and down for up and down. Uh, this is, of course, with the right stick. So let's go right, left and right. So we got uh, right stick up and down and right stick left and right for the camera. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look in the play mode. And we should get... Uh, movement, except you could tell that we are now um, in our character. Um, so we're going to go go back. And I think what I'm going to do is uh, scale my character a little bit smaller, just because it is a little bit large. Let me go and see how that looks. That looks about right. So, uh, so we got that down. So now what we need to do is go into the person and uh, turn off the visible property because we do not want the person to interfere uh, with the camera. And there we go, there is our first person camera. Um, don't mind that over there, that's a texture I made. Um, I'll show that here in a second. Uh, but this is our first person camera. As you would expect, you can move uh, left and right with the right stick, up and down with the right stick, and then you can move freely with the left stick and you have a full range of uh, first person movement. Um, we're gonna go back into the editor and we're gonna actually start working on the UI. So the best way I found uh, the UI to work is if you go to uh, objects, game screen slash camera, first person, and then you get a head node on. Um, so what I think this does is it tracks and applies anything to the uh, person's head except you don't necessarily need to connect it. Um, it's kind of weird how it works, but I'll kind of show you how how it works. Um, so let's go to objects, simple objects and box, and I'll show you how that kind of works. So we have the, uh, the box object connected to our head. So if we go into the game, um, you can tell that there is this yellow bar on top of our head, and that shows that obviously it's connected and it's working. So if we move, will still have the yellow bar. And you can also see in the shadow that um, there is a box obviously on our head. So if we if we move around in any direction, uh, we have the box staying on our head. So what we can do is we can apply that element. And if we go into the object, and then if we, uh, we could turn off actually these because they're uh, not necessary, but remember to keep on movable because obviously the, object is moving. Um, if we go into the connection points, uh, this basically determines how the uh, the object is connected to our character. So if we go ahead and um, let's say change this to y plus and y negative, uh, let's see how that looks. And now you can see that it appears on the bottom. Uh, I'll show that. Uh, this white bar right here, it now appears on the bottom of our uh, of our head. 
So we're going to go ahead and go in the box and uh, edit some of the size. So um, since our position is in correlation with the uh, the head node on, uh, it won't really do much if we change any of this. But if we do change the size, um, it will affect in game. So we're going to go ahead and change X to 10, uh, change Y to uh, 10, and then let's go and change this to one. So now if we go in the game, we now see that we have the box staying exactly on screen. And you can also see the shadow. Let me just see. We could see the shadow and it connects to our camera uh, with no problem at all. Um, so let's go back into the editor. And from this point on, uh, anything that you connect to it, this box can be turned invisible and we can add whatever. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a health bar. Um, it's not going to have any function functionality right now, but you'll be able to do that. Maybe I'll post a tutorial uh, later on it. But if we come over here, I have a texture node on. I'll go ahead and uh, show what it looks like. So for the texture node on, um, if we go up closely, it's you could see it's just like it looks like a, you know, a health bar, a standard health bar. And then obviously it would get lower and lower as you uh, take damage. Um, but if we connect this right now, it will apply uh, the texture to the block that we do not want to apply anything to. So what we're going to do is go to objects, simple objects, and then get a new object box. Um, we're going to go ahead and connect that to this original box. And now uh, I'll go ahead and look in the game. Um, I'm just going to move this out of the way so it doesn't get in our way. So now if we go ahead and look in our game, we can now see that the box is on top and uh, it's actually it's more in the middle. So let's go ahead and change that so it is directly in front of the, uh, the box we made before. So let's go back and uh, we can go ahead and turn those two off. Uh, I believe it's Z or X. Let me go ahead and try that first. Nope, so it appears to be on the side of our original box. So let me go ahead and try these connection points right here. And there we go. So it looks like now the uh, box right in front of us is, um, is, you know, it's just on our camera and it's still on the camera. But now for the real illusion, um, if we... Now turn off this box and make it invisible. We now have a floating box on our screen. And that's where we can apply textures and that's where we can apply any sort of UI. So this texture right here, you can't really see it, um, the green little bar, we're going to apply this to this box and we're going to obviously edit the box a little bit. So um, let's go to the object box that we just made and we're going to go ahead and change the size because again, we can't use the position. Um, so we're going to go ahead and change this to uh, 0 0.40, 0 0.20, and uh, 0.10. Uh, by the way, I did do these calculations earlier, so that's why I know exactly um, what to do. Um, and then now it appears as just you know a smaller box. But now this is where the real magic happens. If we go ahead and apply this texture... And then we go ahead and make this box invisible. Now, if we go in the game, there we go. So now our texture is on the box and the box itself is invisible. So um, now it looks and appears as just a floating health bar. If we look at the shadow, um, you'll be able to see that it's just a floating bar, but it works uh, perfectly fine. Uh, you can add functionality to this if you wanted to. Um, and then also one thing I wanted to show is um, let's say we wanted to display some sort of numbers. Uh, we can go ahead and delete that and delete this. And then we can go ahead and add, um, let's see, we can add a text object or we can add a number, number object. So if you wanted to display like some sort of score on the screen, uh, you can go ahead and connect that there. And then I'm probably going to have to edit this because um, it's going to be a little bit too big. So let's just try to make it as small as possible. And then I'll go ahead and turn those off and then 
connect it the same way that we did with the uh, health bar. And now if we look in the game, there we go. Um, you could now see a score. So you can move freely with the camera and you could see the score uh, perfectly. Um, I think this might be the best way. Um, if, if there's another way and a better way, um, you can go ahead and leave it in the comments. Um, but I'm still trying to figure it out myself. But I, I think this is probably the best way to have some sort of uh, UI on the screen. Um, hopefully you guys found this uh, tutorial helpful. I know it was kind of quick, but um, just go ahead and leave any more ideas in the comments if you guys want to see. Um, I'll try to post another one uh, in the next couple of hours uh, from this one, of course. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, see you later.